you're here and you had to sit throughout the year, but has it been worth it even though you weren't able to play? Um, definitely. I think um, I've always lived a life of no regrets. Um, I don't regret my decision at the beginning. I don't regret my second decision at all. I'm really... I think leaving and coming back has done me better than coming here to begin with. I've had a year to learn how this team plays defense. It's not like any other defense I've ever played before. So I've had a year to kind of sit and watch. And I feel like I now know what it takes to get to this point, what it takes and what it feels like to be here. And it's something that I want to feel again for a couple more years. So I think the blueprint has been laid. Uh, you know, we're, we're a team to be reckoned with. I think a lot of people. We well, weren't expecting this. Um, I think for a piece, we weren't expecting this either. But once we got with it, it was time to go. So I think next year we'll be back and, and years to come because we now we know what it takes. It seems that you guys have very good camaraderie. I mean, it seems in a very short time you have meshed really well with the team. How were you able to do that to just fit in like that just right away? Um, well, I've known pretty much everybody on this team for a couple of years, so it was it wasn't hard to come in and just kind of take the back seat. And I feel like. Me taking the backseat is going to help me become a leader, a better leader for next year because I've always been in the spotlight. I've always been the one that's kind of the window. So this year I got to take a backseat and kind of work on leadership skills and to know, you know, when to step up, when not to step up, and to be able to affect my team just from, a re you know, just from a practice point standpoint. So I, you know, I had to go and I talked to everybody before the game today and just, you know, gave words of encouragement. And, uh, Danielle and I had a really nice talk, and I was really happy that she came out and she played the way she. So are you her legacy now? <laughs> I, I am. I think Danielle is now the, the measuring stick. And I've got I've to step into a big fair shoes to fill it. I'm over the challenge.